Hello, my name is Tracy Wandell. My company is called Sphere Services Incorporated. I'm here to demonstrate today the idea of using cinespheres, ceramic hollow microspheres, to help alleviate the accidental problem in the Gulf of Mexico, being the oil spill that has taken place recently. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to just give you a, a quick demonstration of what I believe could be a possible solution. Uh, to the oil spill cleanup efforts currently going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, my main concern, probably like most, is the uh, aquatic life and environment effect, uh, not to mention the tourism. So I felt the need for a immediate solution to cleaning up and I believe that cinespheres, ceramic hollow microspheres, offer this solution. We'll use now let's say one, two tablespoons. I've added some used motor oil to regular tap water and I'll now slur the material around as if it were in the waves. And this particular material has a very low specific gravity and small particle size distribution which makes it ideal for the for the oil to adhere to uh, due to the surface area. So what I'll do now is I'll let that set just a second. I'll go ahead and proceed with the removal. I believe that the tankers that are out there, the ships that have the um, vacuum systems or uh, the skimming units, let's say, uh, could use this material when they boom off the material and start skimming the product off. What you'll see, I'm going to use just a regular plastic spoon. And I also believe once the material has been retrieved off the surface of the ocean, the Gulf, that the material could be shipped back on the vessel, back to shore, and when on shore, I believe that the oil could crude oil possibly could be recycled from the microspheres uh, either in a pressure chamber um, something like that or the material could actually be burned and the cinosphere material would be left over because again if I hadn't mentioned it earlier cinospheres are a coal combustion byproduct and cinospheres our aluminous silica in nature. Taking me a little longer than I expected, but uh, bear with me. I just want to demonstrate this quickly as I can. I think you're starting to get the picture here. I actually have ran out of oil and I have more sinisters left than um, oil. So, just to give you an idea of the demonstration, um, you can see that the water is still separating from the cinospheres, but you can tell that the oil here and then all we have here right now is cinospheres. I'll uh, get another spoon here. Let me try to get off the rest of this material. Most of it is just cinospheres. In fact, let me add a little more oil. See if I can get the rest of the spheres out of there. Stir it around a little bit. And you can see the separation. Uh, just naturally occurs. So I'll take out the remaining bit and we'll see where this goes. But again, the surface area of the spheres provide an excellent attractant for the oil. The oil always has a tendency to want to spread itself, especially in water. It wants to naturally separate from the water. So the cinospheres, ceramic hollow microspheres, provide that surface area for the oil to adhere to. I think this is probably as, as good as I'm going to get with a dirty spoon. But, as you may be able to see, hopefully, 
here is the oil on top. Here is the oil removed with Cinespheres. You'll see a little bit smeared on the glass. That was just because I ran out of uh, actually oil and there's a little bit of spheres on the, the surface that can still be removed. Uh, but the spheres are, are in, inert, uh, environmentally safe. Uh, I guess the most hazardous thing in the material would be silica, but uh, sand is made of silica as you may know. So, today what I wanted to do is demonstrate what can be done in the Gulf of Mexico. What could we do immediately to save the wildlife, the aquatic life, um, uh, the tourism in the Gulf Coast. And I believe that Cinespheres offer a solution to this problem. And I'm certainly available to uh, share my limited knowledge in Cinespheres uh, with anyone that would be willing to listen. But I, I truly hope that uh, someone out there will see this and take heed and at least give this a shot and try to repair the uh, environmental issues that are going on at this time. I appreciate your time. Let's hope that this works and saves our, uh, save our Gulf Coast for tourism and save the wildlife. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.